Hey everybody, Mr. Bullock here, and this uh, algebra lesson is on uh, writing and solving proportions. Let's go ahead and get started here. All right, so the ratio of A to B, it can be written written uh, three ways. Sorry about that. Uh, a to B, or or A with a colon in between it, B, or it, I like writing it like this as a fraction, A over B. This is a ratio. A ratio is just a fancy fraction. As you get into the higher math, um, sometimes they'll write it like this. Um, they'll say it in a word problem like this, but, but it's easiest to convert it over to a fraction like this to go ahead and solve a proportion. Uh, and a proportion is uh, uh, when you can solve a, a fraction equaling a fraction. I'll show you in just a second. Okay, so a volleyball team has 14 home games and 10 away games. Uh, find the ratio of home games to away games. Okay, so I'm going to go home games to away games. Home games are going to be on top, so 14. And then two away games, 10 is going to be on bottom, so 14 over 10. And then go ahead and reduce that. 2 goes into 14. Whoops, this is supposed to be 5, you guys. Uh, 2 goes into 10. Whoops, I made a mistake. So this should be a 5 right there. So 7 to 5, okay? Whoops. Uh, anyways, that should be 7 over 5. Okay, uh, so find the ratio of home games to all games. Okay, well, there's 14 home games and there's 24 total games, so that one's going to be... Uh, 14 over 24 and then go ahead and reduce that um, uh, to 7 over 12 I gotta switch this back again to so that's 5 okay uh, all right so here we go uh, let's see so a proportion is when two ratios are equal to each other and when you solve proportions and we've done this already before you just cross multiply so let's go ahead and solve uh, each proportion you guys so go ahead and cross multiply uh, 6x equals 11 times 30 and you can multiply 11 times 30 and get 330, but you're going to have to divide by 6 anyways. And I recognize that, that 6 goes into this 30 right there. So I'm going to keep the number small and not multiply by 11 times 30 because 6 will go into uh, 35 times and 11 times 5 is 55. Okay, if you did 330 and divided that by 6, it would be 55 also, but... But uh, since we don't have calculators, probably that uh, uh, we can stay away from here. All right, so here's some decimals here. Okay, 1.1 over 1.2 equals x over 3.6. All right, so I'm going to cross multiply, and you get 1.2 equals uh, 1.1 times 3.6. And again, I'm not going to multiply those because I know I know 12 goes into 36, you guys, three times. So 1.2 is going to go into 3.6 three times also and then so I'm left with um, uh, 1.1 times 3 which ends up being 3.3 see no calculators I don't need that stuff okay here I have uh, 4 over x equals 8 over x minus 3 so go ahead and cross multiply um, and you have to distribute the 4 through the parentheses so it becomes 4 times x is 4x and 4 times 3 is 12 all right, so I get 8x equals 4x minus 12. Subtract 4x from both sides, and I get 4x equals negative 12, and then divide by 4, and we get x equals negative 3 on that one. Okay, all right, so, oh, good, a word problem. We love word problems. Each day, uh, the seals at an aquarium are each fed 8 pounds of food for every 100 pounds of their body weight. If a seal weighs 280 pounds, how much food will be fed per day to that seal? Okay, and what I'm going to do is set up a proportion, you guys. Eight pounds of uh, food they get per 100 pounds of weight. So how many pounds of fish per 280 pounds of weight? Notice I did uh, pounds of food over pounds of weight here. So this is how many pounds of food over the pounds of weight there. And then I don't want to deal with the calculator, you guys. So I know four goes into eight and four goes into 100. And remember, four quarters equals 100, so four goes into 100. Uh, 25 times. So the left side becomes 2 over 25 because uh, 4 goes into 8 twice. And then I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply with that and I get uh, 25x equals 560. And I know 25 doesn't go into 280. It goes into 250. So I went ahead and multiplied that and then I'm going to show you how to divide. Uh, long divide again. 25 goes into 560. You remember this from, uh, I did this in third grade I think with my third grade teacher Mrs. Wicks. Uh, anyway, so we so then we go, how many times does 25 go into 56? It goes in there two times. 25 times 2 is 50. And then we subtract. Okay, so 56 minus 50 is 6. Do you remember what to do now? We slide that 0 down. Okay, and then we ask again. 
This number here, 25, goes into 60. How many times? Again, two times. So I get 50. So then I subtract again. 60 minus 50 is 10. Now, do you remember what to do after here? Don't put a remainder 10 because we want to know how many pounds of uh, food we're going to give this guy. All right, so let's go ahead and insert a decimal. So I'm going to go uh, put a decimal right here and do, and then so I can add a zero. So when I add a zero, I got to carry a decimal on top, and then now I can slide this zero straight down right here. Okay, and then I can ask again, how many times does 25 go into 100? Nice and evenly, four times. So I get, I end up getting 22.4 pounds of uh, food that they're going to get. That that seal's going to get per day. Nice work, you guys.